After last week's episode, that was episode 189, a real one reached out to me. And the real one said this. Bro, first, do a segment about purchasing season tickets like you did the Dallas Cowboys Jackson State segment. We only sold a little over 6,000 of season tickets last season, but we want a new stadium. If we can't show we can sell 10 to 40,000 season tickets a year, no one is going to bond us or support us in building a new stadium. Fans tend to think they save money by purchasing individual tickets, but it costs more to do so. Please do it soon while ticket sales are going on. We love you, bro. Put it on some. Book it! Well, I responded to that real one, and I simply said, I've added it to the show list for episode 190. I got you. God bless you. And I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. But before I do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am your homeboy first, and this is the realest, most entertaining show in the game. Put it on some. Again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that share button, put all of your people on it. You understand? I thank God for all of you who have. I really do, okay? I really, really do, okay? Also, make sure you fuck with our uh, sponsor, the King McNeil Collection, for all of your uh, fraternity or sorority needs in terms of your gear. You feel me? That is the King McNeil Collection. I can vouch for them. They're black-owned, family-owned, and they are well-run. You understand? They keep my little boot thing laced uh, in that AKA paraphernalia. You feel me? Shout out to my little boot thing. But go to kingmcneil.com or download the app. Your first purchase on the app will get you 20% off and watch for the other deals that they be running, okay? That is the King McNeil Collection. Tell them first cinch, okay? But yes, I agree with this king. I agree with this king. We got to buy season tickets, y'all. It just makes more sense. It just makes more sense. Okay. And I'm not up here telling y'all something that I ain't already done myself. I already got mine. I already got mine. Okay. I, uh, 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 in that section next to the boom, that's where your homeboy first going to be. You feel me? I try to get as close to my brother, uh, Thaddeus Reed as possible. Shout out to my brother, by the way. I right, for being in that Jack State 40 under 40 thing. I think it's 40 under 40. I'm not sure, okay? But for him being acknowledged by the university for the great man that he is. Shout out to my brother, PT. But, yeah, I'm going to be in that section with my brother. You feel me? I already got mine. So why wait? Why wait? It makes more sense to get your season tickets. Okay? So just like I did, and addressing the football team, because that's who I addressed last week. I addressed the football team. Now, as this real one asked me to do, I'm going to address us, the fan base. Okay? From the standpoint of if, like, I was a member of Coach Taylor's staff, and I had the privilege to speak to the fan base and let them know uh, what we desire from the fan base. Okay. And as I say this, don't think in any way, in any way, that I am chastising or denigrating or talking down on us. I would not do that. And, and uh, uh, most of y'all with some damn sense know that. Okay. And I appreciate and I love all the real ones who recognize that and recognize me for what I am doing for us and for our black culture in general, okay? I'm going to leave that right there.
Okay. But with no further ado, let's get into it. I got to go into coach mode. Everybody stop talking right now. Attention. Attention. Last week, you saw me address our football team. Yes, you did. Okay. Yes, you did. And you also saw me make an analogy between our fan base and the Dallas Cowboys fan base. Okay. And I gave both fan bases their deserved props. Okay. Both fan bases are loyal to their team no matter what. Okay. It does not matter what's uh, going on. Okay. It can be the eight and eight Dallas Cowboys led by Jason Garrett. Dallas Cowboys fans were going to show up. Okay. It can be the Jackson State Tigers at four and eight. And we were still going to lead the FCS in attendance. Yes, we were. Because that's tried and true. That's true blue. That's keeping it 100. That's being ride or die. So as coaches, we commend you for that. Okay. But now we are asking you to take this shit to the next level. Okay. We are asking you not just to walk up on game day and purchase your ticket. Okay. You're showing up anyway. All right. But we need you to go ahead and make that call. Okay, we need you to go ahead and go up to the stadium box office now. We need you to go ahead and go online and purchase, as, as Zoe would say, get your damn tickets. Because it makes more sense to get your season ticket. Yes, it does. It makes more sense. It makes more sense. It does. It'll be more economical for you in the long run. I'm telling you, it will. It will. But also, let's talk economics. Can we talk real? Can I talk real to the fan base? Okay. A lot of the shit that we want, we're going to have to pay for. Okay. We see that the state of Mississippi don't fuck with us. They have shown us that countless times. Okay. They don't like us. They have not liked us. And that's not exclusive to Jackson State University. They have not liked black people in this nation since they brought us over here in 1619. You understand? So to think that anything is going to be different today in 2024 is being quite naive. It is. I challenge us to stay on those motherfuckers' asses because we too pay taxes, okay? But at the end of the day, we must acknowledge them and that system for what it is, the enemy. It's been the enemy historically. So in that sense, we must look to self. We must look to ourselves and say we will be self-sufficient and get what the fuck we want. And the things that we want cost money. It costs money, yes, it does. It costs money. So if you ever find yourself saying, Jackson State need to do this, we need to do that, we need to have this at the game, parking needs to be done this way, we uh, uh, need to have more of this, we need to have more of that. Well, you know what? More of this and more of that costs money. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So an easy way that you can contribute to the economic vitality of not only, of not only the football program, but of the institution as a whole is by buying season tickets. It makes more sense. You understand? Look at what you're doing again now. You're buying a ticket so you can come to the game and be entertained. 
but simultaneously by buying a ticket to come watch a football game and be entertained, you can slick be engaged in some movement work. Because watch it. As the football program prospers, it attracts more eyeballs to the university. When those young men run out there on that field with that block on their helmet, that is advertising for the, for the university. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We know this. We know this. We witnessed it during, during the prime era. You had some kids interested in coming to Jack State University that don't even goddamn know what a tight end does, uh, uh, that doesn't know uh, uh, what a false start really is, that doesn't know anything about football positions outside of the quarterback, okay? But they didn't give a damn. They wanted to come to Jackson State and major in engineering just so they can say that they were a part of the party. So who knows? If that kid who was just inspired by the football team, excited by the football team, and comes to Jackson State and majors in engineering, who knows? That kid could go on to do some magnificent things in this world. And you can multiply that many times over. Yes, you can. And then those kids become productive citizens in this world. Those kids become uh, uh, members of the upper middle class themselves. If not, become rich. Some of them, a handful of them might even goddamn become rich in this thing. Those kids now become donors. Yes, they do. Okay, and now some of these same things we say we want more, want more of this, we want more of that. We find that we don't have to turn to those bitch ass motherfuckers at the legislature. We don't have to turn to that bitch ass motherfucker in the governor's mansion. All we had to do is turn to ourselves and write that check. All because we right now in 2024 got behind our team. We purchased season tickets at a record level. Let's break a record. Let's buy season tickets at a record level. So we do that right now, okay? And we get behind our team, okay? Now we see that the athletic department budget is growing, okay? And it helps TC and his staff recruit better, okay? And now we are able to go out there and get some of them boys. I'm talking about them boys, okay? And they go out there and they're dominating. And they're going out there and doing their motherfucking thing. And now we return to the Jackson State University of the 1980s, okay? The era of W. C. Gordon, okay? Well, well, we own the Reagan era. Look at that. Look at that, what we were doing in the face of that piece of shit, Ronald Reagan. We own that era. And now we're in the era of Trump. We can lead this renaissance. It does not have to stop. The renaissance that, that started when, when the false prophet came in 2020, it doesn't have to stop because the false prophet left there. No, 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 no. Because for the movement to continue, we just need the people. Need the right people. Okay? And one of the things that we can do to contribute to the movement as the masses is buy your goddamn season tickets. It just makes more sense. It makes more sense. When you, will you stand with me? Hmm? I'm not asking you to do something that's far-fetched or out of the ordinary. This is what's done at Mississippi State University. This is what's done at Ole Miss. This is what's done at Alabama. This is what's done at Georgia. This is what's done at LSU. It's what's done. They understand it. It's the reason why they drop uh, uh, all those bags on those black boys. 
They've shown they don't give a fuck about them on the way they're uh, attacking critical race theory, or the way they're attacking DEI, diversity, uh, equity, and inclusion programs, the way they're rallying behind the uh, criminal, uh, the career criminal, I should say, Donald Trump. It's clear that these institutions don't give a fuck about them black boys that's running them balls and catching them balls and playing defense for them, but they drop them bags on them because they know that football team promotes their whole institution. A successful football team for them increases enrollment. Uh, it's a walking advertisement for the whole institution. They know that. So that's why they go ahead and drop them bags on them. Okay? Well, God damn it, I'm telling you, we want to be able to recruit like that. We want to be able to show recruits when, when TC invites them to the game. We want to be able to show them that this bitch is packed not only when Southern comes to town. We want to be able to show them that this bitch is packed, not only when it's homecoming. We want to be able to show them that this bitch is packed, not only if all corn was there. We on the road this time with all corn, okay? But uh, you get my motherfucking point. Whoever's at this bitch, oh, fam, you coming to it this year. You, you know, folks going to be up in that bitch for that, okay? But we want to also show the recruits that shit we packed during, uh, uh, during Valley Week. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? We pack when Lane come up in this bitch. Yeah, yeah, we pack. So we ain't just looking at the schedule, picking and choosing, woo, woo, woo. Because we're looking at it like some movement shit. Our dollars and our attendance is a part of some movement shit. You understand? Know now, some may say, well, first, I buy the individual game tickets because I can't afford the season tickets. I buy the individual game tickets because uh, I can't afford to make all the games. Okay? Let me speak on that. I understand that thinking. I really do. I understand that thinking. All right? Part of movement, though, part of movement, is being organized. It's being organized. So if this is something you want to commit to doing, you have to get organized and figure out how can I budget in a way that I can buy these damn season tickets and still do all the other shit I need to do. It's part of being organized. So our ancestors were organized. They got organized. They couldn't afford to be doing them fucking marches that they were doing. They couldn't afford to be goddamn out there doing them boycotts and shit that they were doing. They really couldn't afford to be doing that shit. All right? From a practical standpoint and from a goddamn, their lives being on the line standpoint. This shit ain't even, this just this, this buying some tickets. They had to figure out some shit. I, I, I'm not getting on the, they're down the Montgomery bus boycott. They, they had to goddamn figure out how I'm going to get to work if I ain't going to ride this bus. They had to figure it out. They had to figure it out. And they did that. Because they want some movement shit. Well, you might say, like I said, well, first, I can't afford to make it to all the games. I can't make it to all the games. My schedule ain't going to allow me to do that. Well, God damn it. Uh, 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 first of all, that don't change the fact that the, 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 the school need the money. So whether you can make it or not, if you can't make it, you can still look at it as that was my donation to my beloved institution. Or let somebody else use a motherfucking ticket, somebody that you care about, somebody that you love. Let's say you out of the state, but you got kinfolk here. Tell them, hell, uh, uh, use your shit. Okay? Because I'm telling you, if there are things that we want, if there are things that we desire from the program, if we want the team to not only be the most talked about team, if we want the uh, program to not only be uh, the program that gets the most engagement, if we don't want to just be the one that leads the FCS in attendance, if we truly want to show that we rival many of these group of five PWIs, if we want to do that, 
If we want to show that we truly per capita, per capita, okay, again, we're a small school, small school, but so I'm saying on a per capita basis, if we really want to prove that our intensity, our passion for our beloved Tigers, uh, uh, rivals, some of these power fives even on a per capita basis, we have to do things differently. So let's buy our season tickets. Let's set a record. Let's set a record. Let's get ahead of it. Let's not procrastinate. Let's not wait till the last minute. Let's not wait till the last second, okay? Have some belief in yourself that you're going to be organized and everything going to be all right. You're going to cut a cost here, you're going to cut a cost there, and everything going to be all right. That fifth of liquor you're going to buy this Friday, you ain't going to buy this Friday, so you can contribute that to your season tickets, okay? That 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 bundle of weed that you were getting from I Weave Steve, okay, that you ain't going to buy that this time, okay? I don't want to hurt your, your business, brother, okay? But it's some moving, moving shit we got going on over here. I'm trying to get these folks to buy these season tickets, okay? So we're not going to buy that bundle this time, okay? We, we ain't going to get that... Uh, 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 that man and petty this time, okay? Just not this time. I ain't gonna get them J's this release. Not this, this, this time I won't get it. So I can buy my goddamn season tickets. Okay? There are some things we can move around, but what, what, what you going to prioritize? See, you can always tell a lot about a person based on what they do with their dollars. What a person does with their dollars will show you his or her priorities. So if we want to spend the dollar on that field. On them bundles. On that bag of weed. On eating out. Some of us have pledged that we weren't going to eat out as much because we were trying to lose some weight. But by not doing that, we're also saving some money. See, some of that money you're saving, shit, we can slide that on over to something that's, in, uh, that, that's movement word there. Yes, we can. And again, I am not talking down to, I am not chastising or denigrating our fan base, okay? I am keeping it 100, okay? In this game, as I continue to uh, uh, acquire more and more stature, one of the things that they call you, a, a motherfucker like me, is an influencer. As I gain more, more followers and gain more subscribers, okay? Hey, but I've been an influencer my whole fucking career. I influenced young people to be great when I was inside that classroom, okay? When I was coaching, I influenced young people to be great. And that's what I want for us, for our football team, for our institution as a whole. I just want us to be the greatest that we possibly can be. And this is something that is necessary for us to achieve our greatness. We got to buy our season tickets. So again, if you feel like you can't afford them, get organized. Do some budgeting. I'm speaking from experience now. I don't know why folks think I got it like that already. YouTube don't pay all that kind of money from no goddamn views. The biggest segment and put it on some history. Got 16,000 views when I called out Dion Sanders for his bullshit. I made $9 off that segment. Nine goddamn dollars. Yes, I did. Okay. Now, part of the reason is because I started the video <laughs> snapping out. And you're not supposed to do it. I'm supposed to wait till out, outside, I think like seven seconds or something like that. But I said, fuck it in that segment. It just got down to the straightening. Okay. But still, they don't be paying out like that. They don't. I done got millions and millions and millions of views over there on Instagram. Uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg ain't paying out like that. Did not. So I, I am not rich yet, y'all. Yet. So even I have to budget to do the things you've been seeing me do. Okay? 
So I ain't talking down at all, goddammit. I'm telling you what the fuck I do to make this shit happen. You feel me? You can do the same. Hell, some of some of y'all are better positioned to do it than I am. Okay, hell, I pay all the bills up in my motherfucking house, take care of my wife, my kids, my mother-in-law, and see about my mama as well, goddammit. So some of y'all are better positioned to do this shit than me. I call on you to do so. Again, some of you might say, well, I can't afford to make it to all the games or I don't have enough time to make it, up, make it to all the games. Well, hey, look, look at that as a do donation to your school or make sure you get that goddamn ticket to somebody else that can come up in that bitch and turn up. Okay? But what we need to do this year is set a new record for season tickets purchased. It just makes more sense. Put it on some. Please subscribe to my daddy's YouTube channel because the more subscribers he gets, the more attractive he looks to sponsors. The more attractive he looks to sponsors, the more money he can make. And the more money he can make, the more money he can spend on me.